Hey, you know, sometimes when you're taking a picture at home, taking selfies, or maybe you have a professional photographer come in, the lighting just doesn't work for you after the pictures come home. Now, I've got two examples. One is going to be so I can create light where it wasn't there before, and the other is I'm going to decrease the light if there's too much, if that's what you think. You can be your own lighting director. This is very cool stuff. So I got my cup of coffee. Let's get on. Here. Like I said in the intro, you can be your own lighting director if the lights weren't there to begin with. So we'll take this picture of this handsome rogue and we'll copy the layer and we'll go into camera raw. Now the first thing I'm going to do is hold your mouse button down and make a radial gradient. Kind of go about here in the middle, control minus to back it off a bit. Now, the thing a lot of people don't know, they think that the mask is stuck where it is. Hit your V key and all your tools come back. So what we'll do is you can move it to wherever you want. Hold your Alt key down and you can use each individual handle to do exactly where you want the radial gradient to be. Now, let's name this one left. Now, we'll go to the three dots here. And we'll duplicate it. We'll rename this one right. Now we'll move this one over here to approximately where you think you might want to use it. There's no right or wrong answers here. So hit the V key to get rid of it, the Y key. Now, control zero, let's bring ourselves back up. Now let's take the right one and we'll take the exposure up just a bit. There you go, as you can see the skin and everything a little bit better. Choose the left one and do the same to whatever you feel you want. You might even want to add a little bit of color into it. Let's make it a little bit warmer on this side. And if you want, make it colder on the other side, just for fun. But what you're doing is you're adding lighting that wasn't there to begin with. Now, let's do the coolest one that I think. So we'll go back up to create a new mask, radial gradient, and we'll make it something like this. Control minus to back it off a bit. V key, because you don't need that much. Because so what we'll do is we'll kind of center it. Hold your Alt key down. We'll bring it in just around the maybe where the shoulders are and bring it down because we don't need it way up there. Control zero and we're back. All right, V key. Okay, this is the cool part. We'll go to subtract minus select subject. It'll do its thing. Okay, click the radial gradient there. Hit your Y key to remove it. Now let's go down to the exposure, bring it up. Damn, it looks like you've got backlighting. Now, if it's not in the position you want, click the little radial gradient, your V key, kind of move it over, Alt key, bring it out a bit, in or out. V. Now you've got complete control over it. It looks like you've got backlighting. All right, let's check it out. Before, after. Before, after. You've controlled and put new lighting in it that wasn't there before. You're the lighting director. All right. All right, let's take a quick break and let our eyes adjust a bit. Just like to remind everybody to like, subscribe, ring my bell for any future videos coming up. It's free. All right, in example two, we're gonna do exactly the opposite of example one. We're gonna make the picture a little more dramatic. Radial gradients in camera raw by bringing the exposure down to make the picture a little more dramatic. So let's go in, copy the layer, make it a smart object, go into camera raw, we'll go up to the masks and we'll go to radial gradient again. I will do the same procedure, radial gradient there. Doesn't have to be perfect. B key, control minus, and use your alt key. We'll move it around to where you think you might want it. Let's grab a little more of our hair. Bring it up here. Control minus so we can grab that other handle. All right, control zero. Name it left. Now go to the three dots. We'll duplicate left and name it right. 
Now, once again, we'll take the right one and we'll move it into position where you think you might want it. Alt key, adjust a few things. Now, hit V and Y, bring down the exposure a bit, just a bit over her face. We'll do the same to the other one. Click Radial Gradient, Y, and bring the exposure down a bit. Now, what we can do is hit V, and we can expand it, or use the Alt key and put it where you want it. A little bit more. You can do that with the right one as well, if you wish. Now V. So we're on the right one now. Let's bring it down just a bit more. Click the left one. Radial gradient. Bring down the exposure just a bit. Once again, what we'll do is we'll create a new mask. Go to Select Background. It'll make the background selection for you. Hit your Y key. All right. Now we got the background. The cool thing about this, let's name it Background, BG. Now the cool thing about this, hit your Y key. We'll bring down the exposure of the background and watch how the girl comes forward. Bring it down. and Bam, you've got a great dramatic picture. Before, after. Before, after. That's cool stuff, being a lighting director. Man, that was some cool stuff. The possibilities are endless of what you can do of creating your own lighting and being the, your own lighting director. Thanks for staying to the end of the video. See you soon.